This is Will Nunziata, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. Once again, I am joined on translation by the incredible Tu Chen in direct from Singapore. I am so absolutely thrilled that we are joined by world-renowned violinist Wang Lina, but she said I could call her Lina. Hello, Lina, how are you? Hi, hello, Will Dalian. Lina, it is so nice to meet you. And I wanna know first and foremost, when did your love of the violin begin? Uh, uh, when 妈妈就让我开始了我学习小提琴的历程然后一直到现在所以小提琴应该说是在我生命里的整个全部全部是在我生命注入我了注入了我的生命所以到现在为止我一直在从事我的小提琴教育然后并现在目前开了自己的 Mrs. Lina started learning piano when she was seven years old under the influence of her mother. And uh, it's becoming an indispensable part of her now. And she does violin every day. And re recently, in recent years, she has founded her own studio and start teaching her students. That's absolutely incredible that you've been able to use all of your talents to now give back. But I wanna go back to you, Lena, because at the age of 13, 13, you were admitted as the top student to study at Chen Yang Conservatory of Music in Northeast China, where you served as the principal second violinist in the Youth Symphony Orchestra. So young, so talented, what was that experience like for you to be a part of the youth orchestra? Well, hey, Lina, teacher's next question is: You know, in your 13-year-old age, you already entered our Shenyang Music Orchestra, and you were the uh, two uh, two violin players in our youth orchestra. Do you want to know some of 自从我当年十三岁考入音乐学院的时候，学校建立建立了乐团音乐学院自己的附中交响乐团。在那个时候，我被选入为second violin 的 leader 然后在我很热爱我的这个专业。那作为 leader 之后，我就是更加努力，因为是相当于带领一个队伍，我们second violin 的队伍。所以说。呃，跟着这个附中的交响乐团，我们进行了很多演出，包括在我们当地还有其他城市，包括九八年的韩国音乐节，我们都参与了一系列的演出，是这样。She was selected as the principal second violinist of the the youth symphony. Um, she it really opened her horizon to the world. Because with the school's influence, she was able to travel to different cities around China, as well as in 1998, they were invited to the um, Korean International Music Festival. That's a, that's a short answer. Absolutely. Well, I want to go off of that because you successfully performed with the symphony orchestra, the New World. Talk a little bit about what that experience was like for you. Uh 
。那于这个演出之后，我我觉得自己很荣誉，然后在里边又作为 second violin 的 leader， 我带领整个队伍。所以那个时候自己是一种紧张的状态，但是演出之后那种那种感觉是无法形容出来的，感觉很自豪。然后也很值得怀念的一次演出，然后然后让我更愿意参加一些关于交响乐团的演出，所以到了新加坡之后，我也参与到了新加坡爱乐乐团的一个呃一些演出，比如说圣诞音乐会啦、新年音乐会啦这样，我很热爱这种团体性的表演。好，感谢你，嗯、um, ，So well, that was the first. Ever experience for her、uh, to be able to participate in a huge orchestra,、um, and according to Miss Lina, there's、uh, representatives from other countries at the Korean festival as well, and she, as a second violinist,、uh, really is one of the the leading、um, student,、um, and she felt really proud, even though she was nervous.、Um, it gave her a really great memory. And she fell in love with performing in big orchestra.、Um, later on, after she moved to Singapore, she also performed with the Singapore Ai Yue Tuan. And、um, yes, that would be an answer to that. That's amazing. I mean, look at it was from there. Obviously, soon thereafter, enrolled in the Chengdu Academy of Music in China, where you furthered your studies in violin. But I want to jump ahead to 2004, where you went to Germany to 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 study violin in master class. Talk to me a little bit about your time in Germany and how that kind of helped in your development, not only as a violinist but also as a educator. Thank you all. Hey, Lina 老师，她的下一个问题呢是。快进到二零零四年，您去了德国去进修学习我们的小提琴，所以他想知道这段经历，还有是是不是也是因为这段时间开始，您逐渐的往小提琴教育方面发展呢？嗯，二零零四年我去德国做了一个短暂的 master class， 是我去跟一位很有名的一个老师去上课。在那边短短的呃两个月期间吧，两个月期间，呃，我自己去学习是想提升我自己，因为小提琴是欧洲的音乐，欧洲的欧洲的乐器，所以我想跟欧洲的老师多一些这种文化，西方的文化，呃，进入到这个小提琴里面，让我更深的了解小提琴。然后从德国回来之后，呃。确实坚定了我继续要从事这份小提琴教育，坚定了我的这个理念。So well, it's a two-month experience for her to advance herself.、Uh, she learned from several、uh, great tutors in Germany, and、uh, she dived deeper into the technical part of violin, and it really、uh, fermented. Her in her this idea of devoting her life to violin. Absolutely beautiful. Well, listen, I could speak with you forever,、uh, Lina, but I want to just、uh, before we go, I just want to just thank you so so much for your time today. And I want to ask, as we、um, right before we sign off, talk a little bit about the importance of music education. And obviously, to the present day, you're very much involved with your playing, but your charity performances and you giving back so much so that you created the Lena Music Studio in 2021. I love the fact, Lena, that you have been able to combine all of your talents and all of your experiences to provide education. For the next Linas of the world, why is that so important for you? And more specifically, why did you create the Lina School of Music, or as you say, the Lina Music Studio? Lina 老师，他最后呢，其实有两个问题。第一
个就是想知道您对于音乐教育的一个想法。然后知道您最近成立了自己的工作室，所以也在教学生的丽娜音乐工作室。然后呢，第二个问题呢，其实是想知道您做过许多的我们的志愿的表演，嗯，在公益方面，你有没有什么想与我们分享的？ OK， 第一点，我成立了 Lina Music Studio。我的中心思想是把我所学的、我的经验，呃，传承给我的学生。因为现在我觉得很多学生的、很多想学琴的人、学音乐的人，都是想排解压力，然后为了他们的兴趣。所以我不想给予学生一些像我们过去学习的时候很大的压力中学习，想让他们在兴趣中轻松的。学习音乐，爱上音乐，然后这是我的宗旨。那么，在我经常参加一些慈善的表演，呃，就是我想，呃，我用我的音乐，用我小提琴的声音，我想更多的去侧面去帮助到一些人。这是我做慈善的目的。Um, so well, she started her own studio. Um, because she had this in mind, she thinks that nowadays for kids they already have enough stress. So learning violin should be a stress releaser, not a, a stress exerter. Um, so she wants to build uh build interest in them, and she wants them to have fun, and that's what governs her way of teaching. Um. And to answer the second question, she likes charity because she feel like her music, the the tune from her violin, can really cure people, and that's why she goes around and attends events that are helping、um, different groups of、uh, the society and communities. That's amazing, Ah,、oh, Lena. I love the fact that you are using your talents to spread joy and light and hope. Something we need now more than ever. Well, listen, Lena. It is so exciting that you're coming on board Phoenix 360 as one of its global artist ambassadors. Chu Chen, thank you so much again for your translation. And again, Lena, I'm so happy that we are now connected. <laughs>